Any of us who has ever been on the receiving end of a performance appraisal understands that it can be intimidating. Be sensitive to this, and when you sit down with the employee, state the purpose of the performance appraisal and the process you will go through during the discussion. For example, you could say something like this, Tim, I will be reviewing the performance appraisal with you. I know you had a chance to do a self-assessment, so today we will discuss each of the dimensions and talk about both of our perceptions of your performance. We will then review your goals and together come up with a developmental plan for the next year. Do you have any questions? This preliminary conversation helps get you both on the same page. Review the appraisal with the employee and explain any parts of the form that he or she may not understand. This is particularly important if this is the first time the employee has had an evaluation. For example, explain the rating scale and the dimension definitions. Probe for additional information, misunderstanding, or views that may differ from your own. Summarize the performance discussion. Discuss goals and the employee development plan. Have the employee sign the appraisal form. Note that there are times when an employee does not agree with the assessment and will refuse to sign the document. In these rare cases, explain to the employee that their signature merely acknowledges that they received the performance appraisal and not necessarily that they agree with it. Make a copy for the employee and put a copy in the employee's file.